Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. This is Gail and today I have another fully loaded Pastelloween swap reveal. This one coming from Anne, who is at AnnLoca71 on Instagram. I had a little malfunction, so I had to restart. Um, I had to refilm, but luckily I had only opened my hostess gift goodies and this part is her swap so really all it is is out of the bag but let me show you that and first of all i had everything packed under this really beautiful spider web tissue paper but she sent a gift for so this is the one for her swap partner okay so that's like some of the goodies and stuff she sent one for mika who was co-hosting with me, basically being my emotional support. Mika's the one that convinced me I should host a swap, and she's been like my sounding board in helping me, and she sent one for me. So this box was giant, let me tell you. So I, I'm only gonna open my goodies so that her, the one for her swap partner, I um, will stay intact. Her swap, all I had done is take it out of the bag. I'm glad that I decided just to, you know, to make room. I had done my goodies first. So that way everything is still beautiful in there. But let's take a look. She has gifted some of the coveted Dollar Tree stickers. Those are hard to come by. And then she has a beautiful card in here. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous vintage card she has made. And it's on this beautiful shimmer cardstock. There's her Instagram. And then she just has some extra stickers because I had to open this bag that it was in um, for her swap partner so I can seal the bag. And I also just want you all to know that I have um, some extra bags too, just in case something happens, I will be able to bag it up. But I love the card. And inside the bag is also this like really pretty vintage Halloween little die cut, little journaling card, little cute. It's like really big, you can make a card. So pretty. She has so generously gifted a bunch of candy and in this cutest little bag, she's got the cutest little bags. But it's got a thing of Peeps in there, some Tootsie Pops, a little Rice Krispie Treat, some sour Halloween Skittles. So thank you so much. And I got gifted. I'm so happy to get another pair of these fuzzy socks because I had bought some to give to my swap partner and to Mika. But then when I decided I wanted some for myself, I went back and they were gone. So this is the second set that I've been given. Claude I already sold the first one. And I had to find them back and they're on my feet. But so I'm so happy to have another pair. So thank you so much. And then she gifted me a little gift card set here. So it's like a little gift card in there. And some sentiments. Hocus and Pocus. Popped up on foam. Super sturdy on the really pretty purple shim um, glitter cardstock rather. But look how cute her little packaging bags are. A little pastel bags, so cute. And then in this bag she had um, the socks and the little gift set. But look how cute her bags are. Just adorable. I kinda wanna cut this one and laminate it and put it in my um, journal. And then she gifted me some cabochons here and some beads and some charms. Just really cute. And like that's the cat from um, Kiki's Delivery Service. I'm so stoked to have those. I'm definitely going to make earrings out of those. So thank you so much. Look how cute the little cat and the teapot. It's just so cute. So thank you so much. And then what she had in here is I'm sure what she has is the same for her swap partner as part of her swap. So I'm going to leave that out to open with her swap. Let me just get this out of this way. Like I said, so I can make room and so generous so thank you so much first of all the wand is gorgeous i love it so much i'm not going to take it out of there because i don't want to take everything in and out so much because i want it to stay nice for your swap partner but i love first of all how big is that rosette it is six inches because i measured it the first time 
um, when I first got it out, I measured that. And that is a six inch rosette, which is just beautiful. I love this collection. She has backed up the whole um, skull and crossbones on this beautiful holographic paper and everything is just placed perfectly. The skull is up, popped up on foam. Everything is just so dimensional and beautiful. I love how she's used the flower here. And the bow is just perfect on that beautiful purple shimmer paper. She's got a little ghosty peeking out there. And the whole um, skull and crossbones between the skull and the rosette is the spider web. So she's used this really cute trim as a spider web. And it's got actual little gem spiders in there. So look how gorgeous. I love the wands everyone's coming up with. She's used the little Halloween tubes to package it. She's got some really cute pom-pom eyelash trim on there. And it's just gorgeous. I just love it. I'm trying not to get the glare, but look how big it is. I love it so much. And she has done a little loaded tote. Look how beautiful it is. And it's really sturdy. I love the collection. She found these cute little wooden tags and I just love her little ghost here. It's popped up on this beautiful oval doily and she's used um, some really pretty shimmer black cardstock to make this spooky sentiment. I've never seen that die. I love it. If my chair squeaks, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's make sure I stay in frame. I'm gonna gently try to take everything out so we don't mess anything up. All right, I didn't want to have, okay. I might have popped that in there backwards. Okay, so these, we will start with the little perfect gift notes. And just look at these cute bags, these little pumpkin bags with ghosties. Her bags and packaging are so cute. But it's a set of three of these really cute folding gift notes and each one is different. Look how perfect they are. Just gorgeous and so sturdy. She's used really sturdy cardstock. And I just love the collection. Let me fix this. I want to try to get everything back in there perfectly the way it was. So it'll be nice for her swap partner. Since Anne so generously gave us so much stuff too. And then this is, let's see, if it's a memory deck, so I don't want to show the address. So it is, oh my gosh, a bunch, a very generous bunch of word shadow dies, shadow words. So she's got trick or treat, spectacular, but she's backed it up on some really nice foam there. And she's used the shimmer black cardstock. I just love the effect that gives and some really pretty, but look how many she gave you. Like a ton, there's like at least 10 or 12 in there. So that's so generous. Thank you so much, and your swap partner is gonna be blessed. Put this back. I wanna make sure everything fits when I put it back. Now, let me, I'm taking this out of frame for a second. I think it's the memory dex card, and I don't want to show back some address so she's got this really beautiful cauldron it's on this beautiful black glitter cardstock i love how it looks like it's actually on fire and again she has everything popped up on foam so it's very dimensional very beautiful it's very sturdy i love how she's used the sentiment potion for the bubbling cauldron and she's used all these multicolored pearls to just make it look like the witch's cauldron is actually bubbling over and smoking. She's used this like velvum, excuse me, vellum to make it look like the vapor that's coming out of the cauldron and accented it with sequins. So creative. I love it so much. I want to be very gentle with these bags, but look how cute these bags are. Look how cute these bags are. And I don't want to show the back of her card has sensitive information. But look how cute the bags. Little pastel ghost party. 
And here she's gifted two um, bat shakers, which are just absolutely perfect and have a very satisfying shake because she uses these little um, like seed beads and diamond dots to just give it that really, really satisfying shake. So it's very generous to give shakers. And here she has gifted, <gasps> look at all these. So again, she's gifted a bunch of cabochons and look how interesting her little bee choices are. And so I see cats and ghosts and pumpkins and just everything. I love the little candy bag and the ghost beads. So very generous little gift there. These are gorgeous. I have seen a couple of people use this butterfly dye. I don't have it. I love it. And I love the use of the pink and black. It's just my favorite um, pastelloween colors. But she's used these beautiful gems in the body there. But she's got these on some very beautiful pink shimmer. So I'm going to take them out because I want everything to stay nice for her partner. But I love the bag topper. I believe this is a Scrap Diva bag topper. And she made the moon out of yellow glitter. I just love that. It's so pretty. So she's given you two big butterflies and two of the smaller butterflies. And they're just gorgeous. I love, love, love. These bottle cups are so cute. Look how cute the little ghosties. Each one has a different little ghostie. They're just so cute. Look. They're just perfect. Those would be so cute on a rosette. And here she has some shaker bows, which are just perfect. I believe this is a Scrap Diva shaker bow. So she has given you four shakers. That is so generous. So she went over above and um, beyond on the requirements. But look how perfect those are. She's used a really beautiful purple cardstock and that really cute purple ghosty paper. Such a satisfying shake. She's got her foam cut perfectly. Sometimes I have trouble with that foam. And look how perfect these are. I love the bag topper, the trick or treat. I don't have that one. But these bows are so creative. I love the use of those bone pieces as an extra layer in there to give it some cute little texture and interest and just have a fun with the shapes. I love how she's backed the little skull and crossbones on holographic paper. That is so cute. But just the bones are just so adorable. I just love them. They're so perfect. So pretty. And then she has gifted these. Um, these are hard to come by, these Dollar Tree stickers. So thank you for sharing. And look how perfect she's done the um, shadow piece on foam here. And use this really pretty white cardstock. I love how she's used the half pearls to give the ghosties an expression. And this one has a little bow. She's so sweet. A cute little bag topper to give a gift. And then just to remind how cute the little box. All right, and then so I think she made the, one of these coffins um, for everybody. So I saved that for last because this has part of the rest of the swap in. It's so pretty. So the only thing I did open these, so cute, but how did you, like did these come like this? Like it's a little pack of stickers or did you make this little bag? It is so cute, I love it, but it's just full of all these kind of little pastel Halloween sticker pieces in there. So I can't wait to be using those in my journal. I'm so excited. She has a perfect, and I mean perfect, crepe paper rosette that's dipped in glitter. And I love that it's small. Some of the ones I see are like really big and then sometimes I don't have anywhere that big to work with. So it's really nice to have a small one and it's so beautiful and it's so per perfect. I don't know how people make these. These are just gorgeous and she's got it in this so cute little bag. So cute. Oh my gosh, and thank you so much. And then she gifted as like a little shovel with her sequins. She's gifted the little shovel, but she altered it with these little beads and it says boo. 
It's so cute. And she's gifted a little washi. I love journaling. So I always use washi. So thank you so much. This little coffin is just packed with goodies. I've never seen these little coffin shaped containers. So cute. And it's got a beautiful sequin mix in there. It's got some silver glitter, some clay pieces, some ghosties, some clay stars, clay ghosts. I see some silver in there, some black, some black and white polka dots. I see some clay piece skulls, some bones. It's just a very, very cute mix. So thank you so much. And then she did an overachievement of a beaded pin and a pokey tool. in this really nice bag. I've seen people use these bags for their pokey tools in a swap. Now I have to get some. Oop. She's got it packaged with sequins, how cute, but I'm gonna save the sequins by pouring it in this coffin top. So thank you so much for giving pin refills. That is so sweet. I have to put it with the other one. So it's so generous, but look at this beautiful pokey tool. So she's used this really cute um, ghosty silicone focal bead. I love these iridescent beads and the colors she's chosen, the pink, white, and black. That's the colors I used. On her dangle, it says, hey boo, and has a ghost with a little tassel. It is so pretty. Well, thank you so much. And then her pen is equally as beautiful. And I love how she's put dangles on these. Look how tiny this little ghost is. It's so tiny, it's so cute. I bought these beads. I Now I wanna put one on my dangle. It's so cute. And this little ghost has its own tassel. It really looks like a ghost, I love it. I love these pink holographic beads with the ghost. I have to get some of those. I just love her bee choices. But everything is just so beautiful, look at this. And the sequins mix overachieving so then we have the loaded tote itself the loaded tote her beautiful wand look at the bag topper look at that and some beautiful beautiful bows just to show everything one more time some beautiful shaker bows we have the bottle caps. So cute. Look at these butterflies. She really did way more than nine embellishments. So thank you so much. Because these little, go I mean, note card ghost cards. I guess they are ghost cards. Note cards. She did a three pack of those. Shaker bats. Her memory decks. I don't want to show the other side of the bag. It might have her address. And the shadow words. But everything is just so perfect. And thank you so much for joining and supporting the swap. You did a great job. If anybody has any questions for Anne, leave them in the comments down below. And I will catch y'all in the next crafty reveal.